We're about to take this 25 foot Lafayette out on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina, three miles offshore to do a little bit of shrimp trawling with you guys today. We're gonna to be pulling a 50 foot trawl net behind this boat today. Um, our first time being out on a boat, working the mechanical winches and stuff. So we're just gonna take it out here today and see what we can catch. Take you guys along on a little video. You ready, fella? Ready. We're gonna get them. We're gonna be chasing them tails today. You ready, Shelly? Yep. Give you guys a little, little, little quick tour. We got our net all laid out right here. It's a 50 foot trawl net, just like I was telling you guys with a TED and everything in it. Got our doors and net all hooked up. Gonna be running out here and dropping this net. This little boat's powered by a little four cylinder Cummins diesel engine. And she's gonna chug along, I think. She's a good running little boat. She's been around this area a good while. She's a 1969 model. You ready, Bo? Ready. Think we're gonna make it back? I think we're gonna make it back yeah. and we're gonna dang on get them. We're not gonna give up, right? No. We come too far to give up now, guys. If you've been following along with the channel for the last few years, you know, Philip and I got into shrimp trawling a few years back, you know, going out with Steph and uh, Shelly and a couple other friends. <laughs> Pulling the trawl nets, small trawl nets, and using no winches. Now we, you know, trying to upgrade a little bit. Bring some more shrimp, fresh shrimp for you guys to uh, purchase. You guys, if you want some shrimp, you want to put them orders in, leave it in the comments of the videos and we'll make sure we get back in touch with you. We're right here out of Beaufort, South Carolina, right on St. Helena Island. She squatted. And that's how this boat is supposed to sit in the water, guys. That's why they have the side walls built up on it a little. We're going. Let's get out of it. Hey guys. 
in my thumb and everything so I couldn't be more much more happier it's still a little sore down in there when that grinder disc went through there I believe it hit the bone could have chipped it a little bit back here making sure we don't we're not getting any extra water or anything even though we have bilge pumps and stuff they just always want to keep an eye on things right try to be as safe as possible what all that water in there is that all right that helps keep the motor cool Bye, 
bob and weave. All right, guys, we got the net deployed, but uh, we kind of made a little mistake when we was hooking the net up to the cables and stuff. We should have unspooled the winch and separated all our cables uh, when we first started, but it seems to be working itself out for the most part. Uh, the net looks to be open, and I can tell the center line is in the up position, and the two outside lines are pulling those big doors on all across. See what I'm talking about right here, guys? See our little twist back here? Which ain't too bad, because even right here, you go back to a, a single cable anyhow. So we got enough going out that it's opened up. The net is doing fine. And we're in about three foot seas, guys. First time pulling this big 50 foot trawl net. What you think about it so far, Cole? Well, we got a few bugs to work out, but we're gonna work them out. Yeah, we got. That's all about The little reservoir is the main issue right now on the radiator. Little reservoir's got a pinhole in it, blowing some of the water out, uh, out of the cooling system. So that's, that's gonna be something we're gonna do. Right on. All you got to do a little work on. You go go do your times out, find old food, get it worked out, then you'll be fine. That's right. It's trial and error today, guys. We're gonna uh, actually carry this thing back home this afternoon, hopefully, and get these cables straightened out. But we still want to see what we got right here. I think we still catch a shrimp. If the shrimp are here, we're, we're getting it. Might be a jump on top there. Ain't nothing wrong with a cocktail. Alright, let's get back in here. Take over. Keep this thing straight. Woo, we're gonna have to uh, open this window just a crack right here. Let a little breeze come in here. Look here, guys. Oh, yeah. You gotta love it, guys. You got to love to be on the water to do it, right?
had no strength. <laughs> left making this left turn I was facing towards that tower straight out now we've come and swung around so they can check this bag Show them that big shrimp you just had. Look at it, guys. Oh, yeah, nice. Look at it. Nice That's what we're after. Yeah, Ooh, we should get Lord. a bag full of them. That's three shrimp now. Filled up the hand. Wow, that's a handful. Alright. We're going to get this thing set back out. Alright. We're going to do it. We're hoping for more the next time, but at least we got some shrimp. And we scrimping.
the tensioner pulley, they just needed a little bit more tension on it. We stuck the 3 8 uh, drive ratchet in it, put a couple of tie straps just to hold it in place. Probably gonna have to get a belt soon. We good to go, that's cool.
bunch of jelly balls. Not what we wanted to see, guys. These jelly balls, they're just small enough that they're going through the turtle it's cool. A big old ball, but not a big old ball of what we wanted. Work harder, work faster. I see some big shrimp in here though. No way. the prettiest shrimp that we've caught this year. Especially this season so far. Right, this is the first time we've been. First shrimp of the season. So they are the prettiest for sure. I think he's trying to hold y'all on my anticipation. I mean, it's a lot. Yep, we 
than uh, shrimp. And I think these are going for what, about $25 a pound now, Phil? Something like that. They want a bad enough there, Phil. Yeah, they You know them guys running offshore. They're this is what you're looking for. You guys need to let us know if you need some. We don't need that little baby shrimp. Put it in there. These are the little, they're little brown shrimp. See how brown the tail is when you fan it out? See how brown the color is? That's a brown shrimp. This is a white shrimp tail. You see the green in it? So guys, you ever wonder what a brown shrimp and then white shrimp, the difference is always fan that tail out. The white shrimp, they're gonna have that tail of that green color. That was that second pool. Couple, couple gallons. What is it, like a three gallon bucket probably? No bueno, no bueno. to do still guys more work to do then of course when they get home they're gonna have to um or we or they whenever we do this we have to, you have to clean the boat you have to take care of the catch of course um it, it's just tons and tons of work so this is definitely not for the faint of heart or the lazy They said it was alright earlier, but... 